So uh, NC State Engineering um, University, as you know, was founded back in 1887. So from those early, early days, engineering was a part of the essence of NC State. The NC State Engineering Program is like a lot of other engineering programs in the sense that we have several different departments. We have 12 different departments, um, 18 different degrees that you can get within those different departments. Um, you come to NC State your first year, you can indicate a preference for one of those departments, but you are in general engineering for the first year. So engineering at NC State is it's pretty difficult. Um, for all of the majors, you start in the same track and you do the same classes no matter what engineering you're planning on doing. So you get to try out a little bit of everything, which is specific to NC State. It's something that you don't get to do at any other school. The nature of engineering in the real world, if you will, isn't siloed quite like you would think it was, right? So, but, but a lot of students who are thinking about being engineers are confused because they say, well, I don't know which type of engineer should I be. You know, I want, uh, I want to be able to work outside. I want to be able to spend a lot of time working with people. Which kind of engineering does that? And usually what I say is that that's asking the wrong question. Ask the question about which kinds of problems in the world you're interested in. And then let's talk about the two or three different types of engineering that you could do to work on those problems. Essentially the first few weeks of class we're talking about a resume as a freshman. And you're thinking, what does this have to do with me? <laughs> I'm not getting a job yet. Um, but the idea is to plant that seed of what you want to have on that resume in four years. Um, and so that you can start kind of working towards that. It, in, in a way it's a vision board for you, right? Um, and so uh, building in those experiences, whether those be alternative service breaks or internships or co-ops, or being a part of a, of a um, club. Many students are drawn to engineering um, by this notion that it's not just a fun uh, thing to study. You know, that engineering is a fun thing and working with technology and developing technology, but also it could lead to a, a very uh, prosperous and exciting career. And so we pride ourselves on the fact that our students have tremendous opportunities while they are students in our co-op program and through summer internships to have those experiences, career experiences, that guide not only their thinking as they move down the road in their careers, but also their thinking about disciplines. Um, they expect a lot out of us, and they, were, they provide a lot of resources as well, so you can get the help that you need in order to understand the concepts, but they move through material really quickly, and they, are, they try and like find engineers that are able to keep up. We have a reputation of being like, kind of the best of the best engineers and like you know when you hear about companies that they, they see you're from NC State you're already like higher up on that list. When I had come in at first I wasn't an engineering in intent and I was like pretty hesitant about like starting out an engineering career but I think the the main thing that I would suggest is like get involved. If you're unsure, get involved with clubs like Engineers Without Borders and other engineering clubs and just like go to like engineering talks and stuff and really learn about the field because um, I was very unsure starting out but like after being a part of Engineers Without Borders and seeing what engineers do um, and seeing how they can impact our community and other communities um, that, that's like really convinced me that this is the path that I want to take.